In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up uh, this trailer with the bike racks for my own family. Now, I've got three kids plus my wife, and so we've got five bikes. Uh, we also like to go camping on the weekends, so I chose to go with this additional cargo carrier, which I have over here on the left. Now, I really like these kind of tray-style bike racks because they keep the bikes nice and low and stable and compact, and they're also relatively inexpensive. Same thing here with this folding tray-style bike rack here. It works great for our adult bikes. Both of these racks are fully adjustable and fit well on the trailer. So we have the trailer here. We have everything pretty much ready to go. Notice I have some hitch pins and some clevis pins here, which are eventually going to go in these holes here. The first thing we need to do is adjust these receiver box assemblies where they need to go to be in correct position. Now I've already got this one in the correct position. In this case it needs to be aligned with this back hole. And uh, this one in the back I'm going to slide back out of the way back here because what we're going to do now is take this uh, first bike rack here and insert it from the back into the lower receiver as you see here. Now that I've got these positioned, I'm going to go ahead and put a hitch pin in to make sure that the receiver box assembly stays where I want uh, so that it doesn't get moved around when I try to put the rack in. Okay, for the first rack, I'm going to go ahead and step inside here. It will be a little bit easier and I'm just going to lower this down and slide it in from the back. Now, I'm not going to tighten anything at this point. You'll notice there's some movement um, between the rack and the trailer. I'm just going to kind of put the racks in and make sure everything fits up okay. Okay, I'll grab another hitch pin, and as we slide this one up uh, towards the front here, we'll put the hitch pin through the hole and then insert the clevis pins like this. Here's a close-up of sliding it, putting in the hitch pin, and then putting the clevis pin in on the other side. Okay, I'll grab my second rack and uh, we'll line it up and slide it in here. Uh, you line up the holes just like you would on your trailer hitch insert on your car. Insert a hitch pin and another clevis pin. And again, the hitch pins provide alignment and strength to the assembly, uh, but notice they're loose at this point. We'll tighten everything up in just a moment. Okay, now we're going to put on the cargo carrier. So just like we did before with the bike racks, uh, just simply insert the cargo carrier into the other hitch. Uh, we're going to insert another hitch pin and a clevis pin, and we will be uh, pretty much done with installing our accessories. Now, I've been using this trailer for a few months now, and I've got all my racks settled where I want them, but of course, whatever racks you use may require different positions of adjustment. Uh, the balance may be off a little bit, and just like any trailer, you want a little bit of weight on the tongue, so you'll need to adjust these around a little bit to where you get them adjusted for your bikes and your particular setup. After you have them adjusted where you want them, the next thing to do is to tighten them, and we do that with an Allen wrench and a half-inch box-end wrench like these. So one at a time, insert the Allen wrench into the set screw and snug it down tightly. You do need to get these pretty snug, about 25 foot-pounds. This is what will eliminate the rattle from your racks. Uh, now you take the uh, nut and put it over the threads and then you use a half inch box end wrench or a crescent wrench uh, to tighten it down snugly. The compressive forces and the friction here will keep these from backing out, although you do want to check them periodically just to make sure everything remains snug. Uh, then continue to tighten all of the set screws and the lock nuts until the entire assembly is snug. Well, that's how you set up the trailer. Now it's time to load the bikes. Uh, for sure, your racks will be different, and like I said, I particularly like this style of rack. I like that it folds down and that you uh, can get the to the additional basket down below. I like that it's nice and low and keeps the bikes nice and sturdy. This one is adjustable, and I can get three bikes close together, which keeps it a nice compact package. Okay, I'm going to start with my wife's bike back here. Just put the uh, bikes in the slots here and undo this tensioner, lower that down. And then I'll just uh, load my bike and then move on to the kids' bike. So really, these load uh, just like they would if it were on the back of your car. 
Okay, so there you have it. It's completely loaded up. You're ready to roll. Just to make sure you go over all the fastening points as instructed by your rack manufacturer to ensure that you have a safe and secure travels. Uh, also, since I've got all this loaded up, I did want to show you one last thing, and that is just how easy and light it is to move this trailer around the garage. There's about 15 pounds, and you know I can almost balance. Well, see, it balances right there. And again, it is very easy to move around the garage to attach to the vehicle or store in the garage just like this. Okay, thanks very much.